Instead of rotating this way into the bag, we're gonna to try to rotate where the stick blade moves a bit down, a little bit down before it comes around. Sometimes then I'll have people add the golf club and you can kind of see how they'll follow each other. Oh yeah, around. yeah. That's a great way to get someone to feel more of that inside, uh, inside to out approach that would help you hit a draw to an extent. Yep. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. We are here with a good friend, Ryan Ager, Plainfield Country Club. Ryan, it's good to be back. I always learn stuff when I'm with you. I mean, one of the best coaches we've ever worked with. And if there's ever a guy to teach me about proper sequencing through the swing, it's this guy. All right, where do we start? Uh, I would say that watching you hit a couple of shots before we kind of make any adjustments makes a lot of sense. So okay. I'd say hit a few, maybe eight irons or something like that. I think you're in pretty good shape. You've done a nice job getting your pressure over to your lead side. You can also see that, how you've sort of shifted over to the left. I think mm -hmm. that's really, really good. Um, the, uh, the pelvis appears to be open enough to me. We can kind of see both butt cheeks or back pockets. You can see your, your left leg uh -huh. right here behind your right leg. That's usually a sign that your body has started to open up. Um, and so I don't even know that I would add a ton of rotation to this. What I do think I would add would be something that um, we could still use the hockey stick drill for. Mm -hmm. And that's this slight over the top move. Yep. It's not nearly what it was when we oh, first I've been working met, on it. you know, years yeah. ago. <laughs> but you're going to see the club work its way down yep. over the plane for pretty much your entire downswing, which is why, you know, the shots that you've hit so far They've all gone a bit left of target. Mm -hmm. Your club face is um, fairly square to maybe slightly closed so far today. But yeah, I would say like through the hitting area, you're actually not rotating terribly. It's not something that um, I think would cause those problems is a lack of rotation. I think the way that you're tilting your body and perhaps the maybe the timing of the rotation is sort of where the outside in path would come from. So the... Uh, the thing that we just saw there on video in transition is I kind of see your, your hand path and the club working a little bit this way. Yep, still a little over the top, right? A little bit, yep. yeah. Not as bad as it's been in, in its kind of worst of yeah. its evolution, right? So mm -hmm. you're, you're improving on it. But I kind of see like your entire right side moving out to the golf ball like this. And I think we could use the hockey stick as a means of sort of um, changing the path of like your right shoulder, maybe your right hip in an effort to get the club to slot itself in transition instead uh -huh. of working out to the ball. Okay. Um, I think if you, if you purely turn, that's kind of what would happen is the, the hands and arms would tend to go out quite a bit um, in transition. And so you can use this as sort of a, a guide to the hands, arms, and club um, when it comes to like your shoulder tilt as opposed to maybe your shoulder turn. Interesting. Okay. Right, so I use this for or all kinds of things. I had a kid uh, shooting golf balls into the range last week to, to work on some really <laughs> stuff. It's um, awesome. So it's a pretty versatile training aid, but one that I think works great for the stuff that we're going to do here. I love it. Brings right. me back to my uh, childhood yeah. street hockey days. That's right. All right, so show me what we got to do here. Yeah, all right. So what I'll typically have somebody do is I'll set this bag up. It's kind of got the word Titleist in the perfect spot to, to land the blade of the stick. So you'll see that in a second. Um, but the way you sort of set this up is you're gonna take the very end of a normal, you know, adult length hockey stick. And that's gonna go right up against the, kind of the edge of your elbow. If you put this like this, the stick's too short on this end and it won't really accomplish what you're gonna try to accomplish. So yep. you gotta make sure that you pull it all the way this way. If you have a broom at home, that probably works just the same. Something that's, I don't know, five feet long, mm -hmm. give or take, is a good way to sort of do this. So then you're gonna get into golf posture or your setup position as if there's a ball sort of right about here. And you'll just get into your setup. You can use this for the backswing. If you make sort of a flat shoulder turn or you don't make enough turn, you can use it for that as well. Um, I think you're in okay shape there. But what we're gonna do in the transition here for you, Mike, is we're gonna try to, instead of rotating this way into the bag, which is, I think, causing a bit of the over the top move, 
we're gonna try to rotate where the stick blade moves a bit down. You should feel that in your shoulders, maybe a little bit in your arms, but ideally in like your shoulders and your, your torso. A little bit down before it comes around. Mm. That way. Then you can add a little bit of speed to it. As long as you're not hitting anything that's like rock hard, this thing doesn't really hurt and you can add a little bit more force and speed to it. Sometimes then I'll have people add the golf club and you can kind of see how they'll follow each other. Oh yeah, around. yeah. That's a great way to get someone to feel more of that inside, uh, inside to out approach that would help you hit a draw. Well, it seems easy enough. Yeah. Let's try it. So. Great, yep, slide that all the way over there. Like this. Awesome. And make a nice full turn going back. So back. Great. The first move is, yeah, it's gonna down, feel a little right? bit down. down. You should feel it almost like a shoulder shimmy to an extent. Yep. Oh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So as you do that, you also want to get your pressure over to your left side like you were doing before. So at impact, before, as we were looking at the clip of your swing, you had 92% of your pressure on your left foot. Uh -huh. I want to keep that. That's an important okay. piece when it comes to striking, especially your irons sure. solidly, is we want to do what you're trying to do and shift over to the left at the same time. Interesting. Okay, so, so. we'll be back. There you go. Oh, yeah. And so you can kind of monitor that right here. If you piece it together, you can turn back. Back. Great, the first move is gonna be down there and to the left there, yeah. Oh, when right. you do it really slow like that, yeah, I guess you just really drill it into your muscle memory. Like. Yeah, for the people watching that decide to try this, I think that's important to mention is like, <sighs> if you grab something like this and you just try to do it at full throttle, it's probably gonna feel like a tornado of, you know, chaos. Yeah, you know, chaos, you, I like that. You gotta sort of work just you, through. Let me see what you were saying slowly. with this, yeah. Yeah, so then what you'll do is you can kind of wind up to the top. You'll fold your right arm just a little bit. You can kind of let the club and your elbow hinge up just a little. Great. Oh, and then yeah. really slow. Then, there you go. The club's now oh, yeah. falling kind of on or <laughs> under the plane a little bit. But you can see here now, like, the club oh, is yeah. sort of under that plane. <laughs> Which line. I've never seen before. <laughs> There's still lots of rotation here. Your left side is clearing out your, your right leg. You know, you can see how that's positioned relative to your left leg. So this tells me we can see the foot joy logo on your back. Like yeah, your body is facing this wall, which means you've rotated open, but now you've changed your tilt. I mean, it's dramatic. It seems dramatically different. I would say so. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. like easy enough. And before I wrap it up, I just want to experience the feel. So yes. let's give it so one. The process, is. right, is typically we analyzed your swing. We yep. found what we needed to do. I picked a drill that I thought would help you feel some of that stuff. We do the drill a few times. Then we're gonna get rid of the drill, add a golf club. We yep. might use the golf club to do the same drill. Then we're gonna put your hands on the club and take some practice swings, right? So the first few swings are gonna be dry. There's gonna be no golf ball. We're gonna so try to feel that same sensation and transition where your right shoulder is gonna feel like it goes down just a little bit before it comes around. Yep. So you might do a couple slow ones where you sort of feel it, um, kind of almost pieced together, yep. Then you're gonna do it with a little bit of flow and kind of add some smoothness to the whole thing. Good. And then without a stop and a start, right, you just kind of try to feel, just that, feel, it. feel that motion through the hit. Awesome. Yeah, that felt good. Different, yeah. but good. For sure. Nice, that was pretty good. And so you can see one, that your club was here, you weren't that far off. Your club is there. So that's the difference of maybe five, six inches. It's yep. not a ton. Mm -hmm. We added a little bit of that right side bend, a little bit of tilt, which helped shift your hand path, it helped shift your club path. Um, yeah, hit this, this is... one right in the middle of the face too. That's a great swing. If you're someone who, um, I would say, struggles with more of an over the top, outside in club path, that hockey stick drill is a is a pretty darn good one to you know understand the sort of way to tilt and transition. All right, huge thanks, Ryan. Hope you guys got something out of that. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you thought, and good luck. Work on this, and let us know how it helps you.